In this video, I'll show you how to automatically apply a coupon code on your WooCommerce store based on a few different scenarios in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, we'll be going through a few different methods, right? So we're going to um, automatically apply the coupon as soon as a customer adds a product to cart, right? So that's one scenario. We can automatically apply the coupon based on a particular product ID. So whenever a customer adds a specific product to cart, we can automatically trigger that coupon code, okay? Another method is we can automatically apply the coupon when a customer spends over a certain amount. And then another one is we can automatically apply the coupon depending on the number of products that a customer has in their basket, okay? And one of my favorite is we can automatically apply the coupon based on a specific URL, okay? So we can send a customer a URL link. It's a special URL link, right? Through that URL, it will automatically apply the coupon code to their basket, okay? So that's one of my personal favorites. Um, we won't go through all of them, but as you'll see in a second, as we go through the first one is pretty straightforward i'll leave a link um, to this particular article and the method we'll be using we'll be using some custom code so it's completely free um, it is beneficial if you got some sort of technical um, background but i'll walk through um, step by step as best as i can and apply it to our site okay so all the codes and everything mentioned um, will be on this post which i'll leave in the description below okay um, and just for reference it's just on the aovup.com um, website okay so with that being said let's head over to our dashboard and let's apply our first um, coupon code okay so the first one will be we'll automatically apply a coupon as soon as a customer adds um, a product to their basket okay so to do this we're just going to copy this code here so let's copy this let's head over to our site and i'm not too sure if i've got any um, coupon on this site so let's just double check whether we've got any coupons okay so we've got this one coupon here um let's create a new one a simpler one okay so we'll just click add coupon and i'm just going to name this one fab 10 okay so typically a common discount that you might want to offer your customers is 10 percent, right so whenever they first enter your website if they're about to leave you can hit them with a exit um, pop-up and then just offer them 10 percent off so in this scenario as well well sorry in that scenario it would make sense to add a link as well um, to the cart page right so if they've already got a few items in their basket we can automatically apply that coupon um, for a special link okay now let's do a percentage discount and then we'll say 10% right and then we can go ahead and publish this okay so we've got our first coupon which is fine now we'll go ahead and apply that code which we've just copied okay so in terms of adding a code to your site, there's a few different methods in which you can use, right? So we won't go through all of them um, through this video, but I'll leave a link to this particular article in the description below. And this will go through a few different methods in how you can actually apply the code to your website. So you can use a code snippet plugin like what I'll be using in this video. You can add it to your themes function that PHP file, you can create your own plugin and so on. But I'll leave a link in the description below. But as I said, I'm going to be using a code plugin. So if you just go plugins, add new, and then just search um, code, you'll see a few different code snippet plugins. Okay. So I'm just going to use this one here and then just click add new. Then I'm going to enter my code here and then we can give it a name. This is just for internal purposes. So in the event that you're adding multiple different codes to your site, then personally, I'd recommend using a code snippet plugin, okay? And the main benefit is you can quickly organize the different um, code that you'll be adding to your site. And then whenever you want to disable a particular um, code that you've added in the past, then you can just quickly go back and disable that, okay? Um, so I'm just going to say, okay, so let's have a look at our code. Okay, so this is the code that it's going to automatically apply. So on my site where it says 10 discount, this doesn't exist on my site. Okay, so we need to actually replace this here and add the coupon that we want to automatically apply to the customer's basket. So in my case, it was Fab 10. So let's just write in Fab 10 here. Make sure we keep this quotation mark as well intact and we only edit in the text area, right? Okay, so that looks fine. And then we can just click save and activate okay so that's added successfully so let's go ahead and test out this okay so let's view our site okay let's go ahead and add this to our basket 
Okay, and then when we added it to our basket, um, here it's automatically applied as coupon, right? Which is our fab at 10 at coupon. Okay, so that's working exactly as expected, so that's fine. Let's do probably two more. As I said, the concept and the principle is exactly the same, right? Uh, and on the post, it walks you through how to actually apply it as well. Okay, so next we're going to automatically apply a coupon code only when a specific product's been added to cart, okay? So to do this, we'll just copy this code here. Let's paste it in our snippet tool. And then again, we need to make a few changes, right? So firstly, this is the coupon code that's going to be applied. So I'm going to change this to say fab at 10 because that's our coupon code. Okay, and then here's the product IDs, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and find a product that we want to automatically apply the coupon code to, okay? So let's say these sunglasses. So let's click on this sunglasses here. And then if we edit um, this particular product, we should be able to see the post ID, okay? So it says post equal. Then we've got the numbers here. This is the product ID, okay? So we can come back to our code and then we can paste it in here. Okay, so we'll get one more product ID and we can add multiple different um, product ID as well by adding a comma and then the ID, okay? I'm just going to leave it to two. Um, let's find another product quickly. Um, so if we go all products as well. So when we hover over a particular product, here where it says ID, we can see the product ID, okay? So let's go ahead and paste this in. Okay, let's double check, see if there's anything else we need to change. Um, um, all this is fine. Yep, so we can just save and go ahead and check our code. So I'm going to add this particular product to cart. Okay, and our coupon code's been applied successfully, right? Let's view the checkout. Yeah, code. Yeah, so our coupon code's still being applied. So that's absolutely fine. If you wanted to create a similar checkout page to this one as well, I'll leave a link on screen um, showing you how you can create a similar checkout experience on your WooCommerce store. It's our free plugin, um, AOV up at checkout. So you can go ahead and view that video and create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store. So let's do one more example and then we'll leave it here. So let's head back over to our post and this time we're going to automatically apply the coupon code when a customer visits a specific URL. So let's just click on this one here and let's go ahead and copy this code here okay so let's go ahead and paste in this code so again let's delete this one and then we'll paste this one in here okay so just a few changes this time um here where it says coupon code um we will change it to ours which is fab 10. so let's go ahead and save changes and before we actually check this rule let's go ahead and remove our coupon code Okay, so I'm going to head back over to our post again because there is a special um, URL that we need to um, give to users and it's this one here. So we just need to append this to our URL, okay? So here it says question mark apply to underscore coupon equals and then obviously your coupon code. I'm going to copy this here. I'm going to attach it to this URL. And where it says your coupon code, I'm going to add my coupon code, which is fab10. Okay, so now when we paste this in. Okay, so I'm going to add a product to cart. And our coupon code's been automatically applied, right? So this is a really good method if you're running cart abandonment emails, right? And you want to get the customers back as you complete their purchase. You can automatically apply the coupon code to the cart URL, right? So when a customer views their cart page, the coupon will automatically be applied for them. So it's just one less step for them to take um, in completing their purchase, right? And one final thing before we go, since we're on the topic of discussing um, discounts, um, you might want to consider having a look at our dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin. And this will basically automatically trigger different offers based on different criteria, right? So whenever a customer spends over, um, let's say, $100, for example, you can automatically give them 10% off um, at their order. You can create a buy one, get one free offers. You can do um, spend 
X amount in our shoe category and we'll give you 5% in our accessories category, for example. So with this um, plugin, you can create various different types of rules. So it's just another arsenal to add to your marketing promotion, okay? And those are just a few examples of how you can automatically apply a coupon to your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.